Hello and welcome to Harvey Blaze. How good is this intro music? Every time I start, I have to like vibe to it. It's great. Anyways, this week we are showing you Kana Quest, which as of today, today's the 13th, has just gone live. So congratulations so much to Not Dead Games, straight out of Australia. They have made this really cool puzzle slash educational game, which is about learning katakana, the, um, or hiragana and katakana, which are the building blocks of Japanese. And as someone who has tried to learn Japanese for the longest time and failed quite uh, dramatically every time, this game is interesting to me. It helps me pick up the things that I left off and reinforce the kinds of basic concepts that are so important when you're learning a new language. And it's also very cute, of course. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to go for the tutorial just to show you guys how it works first. And yep, yeah, so this little guy here with the face is a kana and is a phonetic Japanese letter. Everyone makes a sound. And so if we double tap this, we see what it makes. We see this is a ka sound. And we remember this is how it's written. We can move a kana by swiping it around. So we can drag it there and all around here. I just want to make you extra sure how to move it. All right. So if we see any new characters, we don't know how they sound just yet. So we're going to need to double click, see how they sound. This one's not. This one is cool. And remember our friend here was Ka, right? And so this game follows a very simple rule in that characters that are next to each other, which share similar sounds, they become friends with each other. They have hearts. Remember this one was Na and this one was Ka, so they have the same vowel sound. Whereas this one, if we move Ka next to Ku, they match too, because they have the same consonant sound. They both have the K sound at the start. And this is all it is. This game is just making sure that all your kana are friends with each other and they all share similar sounds. And it gets more and more complex. Remember, this is a full alphabet. So there are something like 20, oh, I can't believe I don't know this, 20 something characters. And being able to remember what each one looks like is really the first step into being able to read Japanese at a good level. So now we've got this new guy here. This is Nu. And we get a gauge. So this is how complete the level needs to be before we beat it. We need to make sure that everybody is friends with everyone else to the best of our ability. So if you move this guy up, it fills up by one because there's one friendship connection. But we need to make four friendship connections in order to beat this level. So all four of these guys need to be in a chain. Alright, so remember this guy's cool. But he's not friends with Na, right? So you've got to swap these two and move this guy here. And now we've beaten the level. We get a medal based on how many moves we use. If we waste a lot of time, make a lot of silly moves, we get down to silver and to bronze. Okay, and let's just keep going. These guys here are made of stone, which means you can't move them at all. They're stuck there. But you can move other kana around them, so we can do the same things before. Make sure that everybody are friends. And these guys are still counted in your completion gauge. Yep, so let's line them all up. Okay, we also get a reset level and a undo button. And this helps you make the gold requirements here. In a level like this, it's very small, but because we have four types of characters, you've got Nu and Ku and Na and Ka, we need to get our Ka down here, right? So maybe something like this, then this, then this. But there could have been a faster way. I must have used one extra move that I needed to. But we'll just keep going for the sake of time. Here, Oh, I remember last time I did this level, it took me forever. There's ka here, na here, nu, and ku. And the more you play this game, the more you start to recognize what each character looks like and what each character's sound is. So we've got our ka, 
it will be friends with our Ku and our Nu and our Na need to be next to each other too. So it probably looks something like... This is gonna be bronze, but it looks like this. Yeah, and there's definitely a better way to do it. I'm just skipping ahead so that we get to the real levels. Okay. Now this one, we've got our Na here. A Nu. A new guy, Ko. Ka. And Ku. So my first thought is, we need to find someone who's friends with Nu and Ka to go and heal. Our Ko character is friends with our Ka. And we just go like that, and that. Still solo. Okay. I'm not the best at sliding block puzzle, puzzle games, just to be honest. I'm not going to be very good at this one. I'm going to do my best though. Alright, so Ni and No are our two new characters this one. I love this character because look, its eyes are the same as its character, which is the same as its haircut. I love the little designs that go into these. These are so cool. Alright, so our Ni needs to be friends with. Oh, this is a new too. Ki. And Ko is going to be friends with No. So this needs to go all the way over there. But that's cool. This guy needs to be here. Super inefficient, but hey, we got silver. Alright, so... Let's see how I remember. This one is Ku. This one is Na. Right? Yep. This guy is Nu. This guy is Ko. And this guy... Oh, I forgot his name. I only remember the face. Is... No. Okay. So Ko and Not will be good friends. You put them like that. And this is Na and Nu. So these two will be good friends. Alright, we got the gold medal here. Okay. So we're almost done with this little tutorial zone now. Before we get into the, the real stuff. This one's Ku. This one is Ko. We've got our Nu, our Ka, and our Na. And the cool thing is that by looking at which ones are friends of which ones, it's easier to remember the actual pronunciations of the characters, right? Because you know that these two have something in common. Now, our Ku needs to be here, I think. And Ko, and Nu, and Na. No, no, no. Ooh. It's going to be here, here, and like that. That's a bronze. Wow, this is a huge level. Okay, so our Ku and our Ko, now Nu, are our friends. Our Na and our. Is this guy new? Ni. Ni? Na and Ni are friends. Ki and Ku could go like that. And this guy is not. Oh, I've forgotten you again. This is uh, Ko, and this is Ka. So these two will be friends. Ni and No. These two will be friends like that. All right. So we're just missing these two now. What if we just one? All right. That's slow bronze. Hard game. Okay, so we've got some stone characters here. We've got our stone key, our stone knot, and our stone cot. Well, we've got a ni here, and a ku, and a nu. So we swap these two and these two, so those are tied up. And surely it can't be as easy as just chucking that down, right? No, of course not. This is nu, na, and ka. Oh, but it still needs to be more connections, so I need to bring it down like that. Okay, so we got a straight line there. So when you remember what the level's meant to look like, it's a bit easier to go back and to get the better ranking. 
For example, here, I know that these guys need to go down now. Like that? Nope, I've messed up. Uh, I messed up. These guys swap first, then I take them down like that. And this one goes like that. Oh, that. Or that. Somehow I did worse than before. Okay, this is why we move on. We just move on. Alright, so I think we're pretty close to the finish of this first Cherry Blossom world. And we move into the picturesque Japanese countryside world. There's a lot of levels in this game, by the way. So many, because there's lots of characters to learn, right? You can actually also switch between Katakana and Hiragana. So you actually learn both alphabets. And I'm not too sure, but I see a lot of achievements in Steam that say if you make a certain word with your characters, which means that maybe towards later in the game, I haven't gotten there yet of course, but I hope they do introduce a bit of kanji as well, so you get a very holistic image of what this language is. Alright, so let's keep going. Ah, I remember now. This is a bit confusing. We get Mystery Kana, and you need to figure out what their character is based on who they're friends with. So we see that this guy's friends with Ka, Ke, and No. This guy's not. This is Ke. We've not met him before. But when we can figure out who they are, we can double click this and try to figure it out. Now we know it must start with a K because it's got two friends. It's up a K. And this guy is not, so it must have an O in it too. And we find out that's Ko. Here things get even more complicated. You can actually move these characters around to test whether they become friends or not, and that's part of the way that you find out what the mystery character is. Here we've got our Ket and our Na, and it's friends with both. So it's either... Oh, I think it's Ka, right? And here's a Ko. So I'm just going to guess straight away that it's Ka. It isn't, which means it's the character that we haven't learned yet. It's Ke and Na, which makes Ne. There we go, it's a new guy. Yeah, I love how much detail they got into making all these faces. It rem they used little characteristics of each letter in the face as well. So do you see how, for example, here, this guy with little equals, equal sign eyes has also the equal sign in the... well, looks like an equal sign in the character. And here it's very curvy, and it's got these little two marks here, which is reflected here, so it makes it just easier to remember the entire time. Here we've got another mystery character. They are friends of Ket, and we've got everything together here, so I don't want to disrupt it too much. But you can see he's not friends with Na, which means that can't start with an N or end in an A. Here let's bring in another friend. Let's bring in No and see if they're friends with it. No, not either. We keep going down the line, we've got Net here. But this is a cat, so it doesn't really matter. It's definitely not going to be that. And our last guy is Ni. See if they're friends here. They are. So I would say this has to be Ki. Alright, we found it out. And the problem with these mystery levels though, is that your metal is going to be a bit worse depending on how much experimentation you need to do to find out what goes with what. So if you were to restart it, you would immediately know what the character is. We already know this guy is neat. Nope, I messed up. Ignore that, I'm gonna cut this footage from the, from the record. We already know this guy is key. So you can find it out, and then all we need to do is just bring everyone across. And match it all up. Okay, so next one, we've got a st <laughs> He's wearing the, the, the Thug Life sunglasses. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, I don't know why it's so funny. This is a Sa. And we've got to make sure that they're friends with everyone else. Here we've got another mystery character, who is friends with Na, but not friends with Ne. 
So we know that it's definitely an A ending, because otherwise we'd be friends with Natsu. Here we've got a cat, and they are friends. So it's pretty obvious that this guy is Ka. Alright, we found him out. And then if we move Net down here to match with Ket, what's Sa? So we have to bring it across like that. What am I missing? Net, Ka, Sa, Ket, Na. Maybe it just it's just a matter of yeah, okay. All right. I know that you do need to get a certain amount of gold medals to move on to the next world. So at some point you do need to go back and be very good at puzzle solving, in addition to being very good at your character recognition. But I don't know how much time we're going to spend on this game, so we might not get to there. I just want to show what kinds of things this game does, and especially the fact that the more you play it, the better you memorize your characters. Because it becomes necessity, right? It's like when you learn any language, if you just learn it from book spots and just read, just read things, right? But you're never speaking it, you're never using it practically, it's very hard to make that language stick in your head. Whereas if it's something that you're talking all the time, then it becomes easier and easier because it's like, it's like flexing a muscle, right? You get stronger and stronger. So this game, by the fact that it keeps on making you memorize what each of these characters mean, it creates that memory in your head, and it makes it easier. Like here, because of last level, I know that this guy with the Thug Life sunglasses is Sa. I know that this guy here is Ka. I know this guy here with the sad eyes is Ki. This guy is Ko, I think. No, I'm super wrong. It's Ni. Okay, the, the equals eyes are Ni, and this is definitely Ku. So if Ni and Ku are both friends for this mystery character, then this guy is either Ki or Ku. Let's just take some guesses. No. Ni. Then it's No. Alright, we got him. I wish that I know it wouldn't be possible, but if there was an option to actually write in the character instead of just guessing what it sounds like, that could make it even more effective. I guess it would require a tablet though, you need to, to awkwardly drag your mouse across the screen, that wouldn't be very good. Okay, so this guy is friends with Ki and... No. no? I need some way to remember this guy. I guess he has the N and the O in his character, so that's not... It's friends of Ki and not, which means it's either Ni. No, never right in the first time. Or Ko. There we go. And everyone's happy now, at least gonna find out this last guy. It's next to Sa and Ka, which means it has to end in A. And here is not, so it's very clearly Na. Terrible disguise, my friend. Alright, we've got the silver medal for this level. Let's keep going. Whew, lots of new guys. Na is here, Sa is here, Ku and Ki are friends here, and here we've got our no. no. So we can just do that and make these guys friends. Ooh, and Ki is friends with the mystery. So I think if we move Na here, we get a lot of information. It's friends with Na and Ki, which means this has to be... It can't be Ka, because there's a Sa there and they're not friends. So it has to be a... Ni. There we go, we found it. And here we've got Ne and Ka. We can move here to make everyone friends and there we go we beat the level with a silver medal okay deceptively small this makes me nervous because I'm sure it's gonna be hard if it's a small we've got our no yep yeah. and our key and here we've got our net it's friends of no and net so I'm imagining that it has to be... Well, it could be anything starting with N, right? It could be Na. 
Just guess it all. It could be Ni. And it is. And this one is not friends with Nep, but it is friends with Ki. So maybe we have to move it around a bit to see who else it becomes friends with. Oh, can we not move? Can we not move it? Hmm. Move this guy here, right? It's also friends with Nu. So let's go back. If we have Nu and Ki, then I think it's either Ni or Ku. Alright, and here we've got a net. How do we make it friends with one of these guys? Ki, Ku, Nu. Oh, easy. Just do that. Alright. Okay, so we've got our well, Thug Life Sa here. I'm never gonna forget what this character is ever again. I'm just gonna associate it with Thug Life sunglasses. Who is friends with our mystery character, is also friends with our No. Remember it now, your No and Sa. So it could be So, or it could be Na. There we go. This guy's friends with Ka and Ku, so it could be anything, really. Let's move our Na there. It's not friends with Na. Which means that it has to be K something. Let's go Ki. Nope. Ke. Nope. Ko. Yep, there we go. It's a Ko. And Ko's gonna be friends with No. And we made the chain like that. All right. It's very satisfying. I feel like it's a simple puzzle game but because you're practicing your intellect here and you're always using a decent amount of your brain the entire time. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like work, you know. I feel like sometimes language learning can really feel like work when you're just looking at a thing over and over and over again and trying to force it into your head. Whereas this time, at the very least, you have so much safeguard, right? If you forget something, you can always just double click and see what it is, and that just makes it a lot less high stakes. All right, so this level, we don't have a lot of movement at all, but we do have our sa and our na and our ka, and this guy is not friends with ka or ko. So if you move it like that, he is friends with ku. And if we move it like that, so, very clearly this guy is no. Everything's in the chain now, if you move it like that. Here's our ke, our ki, our ni. And our ni and our ko are good friends. So this has to be... Oh, it's one in two chance of getting the guess. I would say it's no. Alright, gold medal, nice. Okay, what a big stage. I wonder why it's like that. We've got our Sa here. I'm guessing we have to make it one big straight line to get to the six. We've got our net and our mystery. Maybe once we unlock the mystery, we can move it around. So our Na is friends with our mystery, which is also friends with our Ko. Ko. <laughs> My pronunciation's terrible. So let's try Ka. Maybe this is a Ka. Nope, so it has to be the other one. It has to be a no. And yes, I'm right, I can move it around. Net. This guy's a net, so it will be friends if not. And this guy is not net. It's really just guessing at this point. We can move it all the way around and see how it reacts. And same with this. It's wasting a lot of turns, but. Okay, so we know that these two are good friends. Now, Ko and Net needs to be a no or a Ke. There we go. And so we need to move it like that. When you use so many turns. 23 turns. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do that one. Okay, so we get 10 moves. This is going to be a very complicated level. 
we've got a lot of characters. Here we've got our Keat and our Cop with our Net. So neither of these guys... Oh, it's Ni. Ko is just the two lines, okay. So Ni is going to be friends with our Net. We can move him up like that. Now Net is friends with our mystery character. We have Nat here is friends with Sat, but not friends with Ket. Well, not friends with mystery at all. And here is our Ka, who is friends with Mystery Letter. So we know that it can't be an A at the end, it has to be a K at the start. So it's Ket, it's definitely Ket. We can move these guys down too. And it's not friends with No, but it is friends with Ku, so it has to s Wait, what am I doing? This is Ko. I guess we have to move Ka around. It's not friends with Ka, so... It can't start with K, but it has to end in O. So let's try not, and we're right. So all we need to do is just move this not here, and we've solved it. I like the little firework thing that happens when you finish too. It's very satisfying. Reminds you of in Peggle, where you win the level and there's fireworks everywhere, and it's cool, right? Okay, this guy is new, and what a big face. This is so. I will remember it by the big face. I guess it's kind of a slim character, so they have the space to make those big N W N eyes. Okay, so here we've got a cut and a stone character. We've got our Su, who is actually friends. So it's either Ku, no, or Sa. Old mate, thug life. And here is Ki and Su, so it could be a C or it could be a Ku. It is Ku. Now we've got Na here, which doesn't really fit any of these guys. But it is friends with the mystery. It's friends with both mysteries, actually. Whereas this mystery is friends with Ke and Na. So I would say probably Ka. No? Okay. Then Net. Alright, we found him out. And Net is friends with our mystery. I think I must have messed this level up, I think. Net and Na. So it has to start with an N, and it probably could be Ni. Or Nu. Yep, it's Nu. This is our cat. So Net will go here, and we're solved. Let's just see the level select, see how much more there is, because this is a very large world so far. Still got a few more. And then when we get to here, that's when it's going to start questioning us about our metal content. So we'll see how we're feeling when we get there. Okay, so we've got a sa. Oh, it's so sad. It's like, it's like almost an U, but there's an M there. So U Umu. Got our friends Ko, but our Sa's friends of our mystery. Ko's also friends of our mystery. So our mystery has to be probably So or Ka. Let's try Ka. Alright, now this is Su, so it's not gonna be friends of either of these, but if we make a straight line there, then it's. Hold on a minute. Yep, we've gotta flip this. Alright, so we've got a straight line there. Sa, Su, and Mystery here, Ki, and Ni. Our Mystery is friends with Ni, and friends with Nu. Oof, so we swap it like that. Oh, Ki and Nu. So this could be Ni, but it's not, because it's not friends with that character. So it's probably Ku. Alright, and Ku will be good friends of Su. We can do it like that. And now we're just missing this one. So he's friends with Nu and friends of Ket. He is Ne. It feels weird that I've suddenly gendered all these characters. And we're just gonna move these two across. Hmm? Oh, move like that, and that, and that, and that. Alright, we did that poorly, but we did it.
think we'll just finish this world and we'll see how things are from there. So we've got a mystery character here, not friends with Ko, but friends with No. So it has to start on an N. And here's Ku, not friends with Ku. We can just start guessing from here. Could be Na. No. Could be Na. It is Na. So we've got to... Oh, how do we do that? We've got to move... Ki, Ka, Ku, Ko, Na. We're going to swap like that. There we go. Got a sad suit and a sad sa here. Here, this mystery is friends with cat, and our no is here. It's not friends with no. So if we want to guess, starting at this one, it's friends with cat, not friends with no. Oh, that's gonna be really hard. Let's try moving this around, seeing if we can get this one first. Okay, so this one is friends with both cat and no, so we can say it's net. Or, cool, but it's now. Okay. And so we're gonna swap it like that. It's also not friends with now. Hmm. Our not can go here and be some sa, and it also is friends with the mystery. But we know it's not an N. So it has to be something A. Right? What about ka? It is cut. All right, and our suit needs to be friends with no, like that. Hmm. And now everyone's friends. Yeah, at the end of the level, I have a bad habit of just moving everything around and hoping it works. But it's doing okay so far. All right, let's figure this one out. But this one's super friendly. It's friends of Na and Ko and Sa, so it has to end in A, it has to be Ka. I do wish I had to write out the mystery characters. I feel like being able to write out the mystery characters, it really helps you match your your muscle memory to, and your photographic memory to the character. Whereas this one, if you're just identifying the sound, yeah, you know the sound, but you're not going to be that good at matching what it looks like and creating that shape for yourself. I think that's one of the limitations of this game. I would pair it with some writing exercises because that way you get both sides of the language. Because from my example, I speak, well, I speak very poor Chinese, but I can't write it at all because I haven't practiced that side of the language. And so I can recognize some of the characters, but just from nothing, just from my brain, I can't make them from nothing, you know? That's a different skill entirely. All right, so let's keep going though, I digress. Here's our sa, here's our ku, here's our nu, and they've got friends, so it has to end in the u sound. It's su, and I can write that there, right? It's like a curve and a tick. Oh, I was actually kind of wrong. It's, yeah, it's curved at the bottom, it's all ticked. There's my Chinese brain going again. Okay, so another mystery character. We've got our no, we've got our cat, we've got our nu. That is cat, right? No, cat, no. Has to start with an N. It's net. And how do we write net? It's the straight line down, zigga zigga, round curve. Yeah, straight line down. <laughs> oh, I'm really messing up the description of it. If I had a whiteboard, I would I would draw it with the whiteboard, hey? Okay, here's the last mystery check to find out. Here is our cat, here is our co, and here is our... Ni. Ko ni ke. So it's ki. And ki looks like two lines cross and then like that. Oh, so it's not. Two, li two lines, da, da. Oh, we got gold. Nice. I just realized too that my recording is mirror reversed. So I'm going to be drawing everything the wrong way around. And that's really bad because there are actually some characters which are just the same except mirror reversed or very similar looking. Oh well, we did our best. Here is our su, our ne, and our ni. It has to start with an N. It is nu. And this is the one that's like that and around. 
Yeah, so that, and around, and the twists. Ooh, this guy's new. Oh, look at his face. It looks like the guy in The Simpsons who doesn't like to talk. That's so specific. I'm gonna flash a photo of his face on the screen right now. Okay, this is set. And a mystery letter here is friends with Na and Ka. So it has to end in the A sound. It could be. What have we learned so far? Na and Ka. It could be Sa. Alright, Mr. Thuglife. I can't write this character because they keep calling him Mr. Thuglife. It's like that and that and that. And so he goes with our set now, like that. Unfortunately, he's not friends with the rest of them, so we've got to move him down. What have I done? Ka, se, sa. Let's go like that. All right, everything is connected. So here is our ki, right? Ki, friends of our mystery. Mystery is not friends if neat. It is friends if not. So this is possibly, or not possibly, it's neat. Oh no, what am I doing? It's ko. And so it's gonna have to move back up to fit with here. It's not. Alright, everything's smooth together. There's our ket, there's our no, which means this is a net. And here is ni. So, make everything line up together. Alright. This is definitely a fun way to revise. If you want to revise your memory of these tables, very fun. Much better than just copying it out over and over. Alright, so we are at the end of this world. And if we want to move further, we're definitely going to need to get some more gold medals. So, I think we've done pretty well for ourselves. We've memorized quite a few characters, really. I might just show what things look like. Oh, it's actually an option to unlock all the world. And the levels, and the katakana. Alright, we've unlocked all everything so fast. Ooh, go really, really far down. And look at all this stuff. I'm not going to go through a lot of it because I won't know the characters, I'll just waste your time. But, yeah, oh, uh, what are these guys called? Not Dead Games, I think? They've put in so much effort into making this just a fantastic puzzle game and language learning tool. It definitely feels simple. It feels like you're playing Candy Crush, but you're increasing your knowledge of the language at the same time. So, yeah, I very highly recommend this. Give them a look, give them a shout out, and, yeah, thank you for joining us for Hard Place. We will see you next week.